Jane had her object all of a sudden find her as well. So actually what you don't know is I had four objects that I <laughs> materialized yesterday. <laughs> yesterday was my birthday, so I thought, hey, come on, I can do more than one. <laughs> So um, first off, I struggled a bit. I didn't know what to uh, materialize. <laughs> Thank you. And I was very inspired by the butterfly. And I was like, oh, actually, I could materialize a butterfly. And I saw it on my hand. And I was like, oh, today, my birthday butterfly. That would be so nice to have one in my hand. And then I realized it's raining outside. Maybe it's not such a good, oh, I'm just going to let it to the universe. So um, walk into the walking meditation with my husband. And I saw something on the floor between all these pebbles. And um, I bent down and took it in my hand like this and looked at it. Oh. It's a butterfly, and it's green. <laughs> <laughs> so that was my first object yesterday. Thank you. So she's walking along to the walking meditation. She looks down, and there is a, not a real butterfly, but a fabric butterfly that was green that was on her way to the walking meditation, equal to her intention. She wasn't looking for it. She was just walking. And there it was. You understand? Yes? yes? Now, here's my question. In this field of potentiality, is there a difference between a 500 euro bill and a feather? No. You only give it more value, but it's still material. Material. Would you agree? Your, your thought about it in terms of separation from something that has a five, a zero, zero on it, as opposed to a one on it or a 10 on it, is just your belief that it means something more. How many people understand? So then if you can create a balloon or a feather or you can create a butterfly, then the next thing you should be thinking is to overcome the belief that a gold coin is more valuable or means something more than a feather or a butterfly or a balloon. Isn't it the same process to bring it from nothing into something? Are you with me?